world, it's your girl Dante starting your week off right with the Source Report. Takashi69 was probably hoping to top the Billboard charts with his debut album, but Astroworld has claimed the throne yet again. The former leader of the Billboard 200, Travis Scott, has returned at the top of the charts for the third non-consecutive week. Billboard reports that Astroworld, which was released in August, earned 71,000 equivalent album units in the week ending November 29th. Takashi 69 debuted at number two on the chart this week from three days of activity in the tracking week, according to Billboard. Congratulations to both artists on their projects being on the charts. Speaking of artists on the charts, rapper Joe Budden has his own opinions on his podcast. Budden went on to say what happened this year combined with happens next year, the wave is about to wipe a lot of y'all out on the way in 2020. What happens this, this year, what happened this year combined with what happens next year? The, the shore, the wave is about to wipe a lot of y'all out of the way in 2020. That, that's my hot take. I agree. Joe isn't new to sharing his musical opinions. His bold statements have been heard before, like when he said Little Yachty was ruining the culture and shouldn't be accepted. But this time he wasn't too bold in his opinion. He didn't even name drop. But can you take a guess at what current rappers he's referring to? Leave a comment below. Over the weekend, industry's finest flew out to Johannesburg, South Africa, where the Global Citizens Festival was held. The theme of this year's festival was to honor life, work, and the legacy of freedom fighter Nelson Mandela on his 100th birthday. Beyonce, Jay-Z, Ed Sheeran, Usher, Pharrell, Tiwa Savage, Wizkid, and many more grace the stage. Other guests supporting, to name a few, were Oprah, Gail King, Tyler Perry, and Dave Chappelle. You can find clips of the festival online at thesource.com. I'm Dante Ramos with The Source Report, giving you the best that we got.